Welcome back. My name is Pop. Excuse me. I'm trying to do my opener. Welcome back. My name is Pop Iku. The game is Mass Effect 3. Last time we saw Earthfall, we cleared the Mars archives, got, well, the most important thing we got is the information on the uh, super weapon, whatever it may be, and uh, made our way to the Citadel with Ash a bit banged up. But, uh, we're just going to swing by, see Ash in the hospital, then head to Adina's office and uh, see what else needs to be done here in the Citadel. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One more. Uh, this is my second time trying to record this episode because the uh, OBS decided it did not want to actually capture Mass Effect 3 when I was recording. And so all I had was a black screen. So thankfully, I did have a backup save. Because I've learned more or less that uh, I should always have a backup save file for when things go wrong, because they will eventually go wrong. Still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. You're pretty banged up there, Williams. Made me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? You need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. See you soon. Uh, I mean, Ash and Vega may be two complete idiots who annoy the crap out of me, but still, uh, she doesn't deserve to be banged up like this. Hello, Dr. Jackwas. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas. You're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Chalfant, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How is she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. <laughs> well, at least she dotted her I's and crossed her T's. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Dr. Karen Chakwas. Most excellent, most excellent. I'm very happy to have her aboard. Makes life a lot easier. And then let's see, was there any other meetups around here? Because funnily enough, I did forget Dr. Chak was in the first attempt at recording this. All right, the Shriek Abyssal of Prothean Obelisk. Hello, dear. Perhaps you can help me. Okay. 
There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al-Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council Thank are you, phone. access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Yes, I'm sure they do. Humanity is a very inquisitive species. See, you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would. <laughs> Yeah. Well, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. That's uh, pretty grim. I don't know why I get Renegade points for stating the truth. Politicians are generally the weeds of the galaxy, as Shepard puts it. Alright, welcome. I'm going to the Spectrum Information Processing Center. This channel will offer secure information access and support for authorization of covert operations or acquisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and reconnaissance. Any operation requiring payment can be executed at the terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial transactions, Corn Fleet Intel. And uh, Korean Pilgrim Jen Vlanarnima uh, Silva received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Jen Vlan purchased tech, including high end weapon mounts. Kinetic barrier emitters from several ship service centers on Ilium. Another Korean pilgrim, unidentified, was searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that its pilgrimage was recalled. They suggest the Korean fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. It's going to be a reaction to the Reaper, yeah, Reaper invasion, but no formal offer. Or request for assistance has come, and does suggest the coins may instead be preferring for conflict with the Geth. Which does not seem like the most wise thing, but uh, that's their prerogative, I guess. Although, it does seem quite dumb given the current circumstances. Especially. Given that uh, we've tried to make peace with the Geth in ME2. Well, that was a thing. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. 
Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... it would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with you, Dina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. You don't say. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Yeah, that's about the size of it. And we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way, but the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future, the fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. See, the thing is, Udena is correct in that they're scared and just acting out on that. But the thing is, the thing is, a large portion of the Reaper forces are currently on Earth. If they act now and surround Earth with their forces, we already saw in Mass Effect 1 that a decent sized force can take out Reapers. So, if all three species corralled the force, the Reaper forces on Earth and took them down now, that would be a not insignificant portion of the Reaper combat strength 
drained, Earth would be freed, and it would be a huge morale boost, especially for the human soldiers. So even before the completion of the uh, super weapon, I think there is value in gathering up everybody and going after Earth. I think there's a lot of value in that, actually. Especially since I don't think the Reapers would consider that as something, as an outcome that the, the people would do. I think it's a decent shot at uh, getting this war off on the right foot. Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying, but I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Oops. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm glad you're on our side. I hate this thing so so much it's so much easier when I can do window capture instead of game capture but in any event okay that's good or us has updated okay I think that's everything I need to do in the Citadel right now but, uh, yeah, so normally in the past, when I played this game like 10 years ago or whenever, I would punch Jelani out. But with age comes wisdom, and I realize she's, right now she's only acting like this because she's scared. She's worked up it's earth falling probably shook a lot of people right down to their core so uh, extenuating circumstances I decided to, uh, to be nice to her because yeah lots of people are probably scared and angry and worried and nervous and all that other stuff and a comforting word in a time of trial is the right thing to do What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview? Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room. And this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. All right. I think we're getting off on the right foot. Another war asset acquired. And I think that's everything all we can do on the Citadel right right now. Yeah, that's uh, two good sources of uh, war power that I just picked up.
uh, both reporters on my side. And now for the creepy nightmare segment of the episode. Yay! segments. I don't remember the kid popping in and out quite so shoddily in the original. information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. 
Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. I mean, Edie's voice is pretty sexy. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, where the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Well, that doesn't sound too hard, right? Right. Come <laughs> War assets. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the final battle. Alliance is currently at 580 military strength. Engineer Corps to 103rd. The first fleet. And uh, you notice if it says updated, that means something you've done in a previous game has affected the combat strength. So. This fleet lost a third of its vessels protecting the Council during the Battle of the Citadel two years ago. Unfortunately, the Alliance did not have the time to rebuild the fleet in its previous strength before the Reaper raid, Reapers invaded. So, yeah, if you chose to choose to sacrifice the Council, the first, third, and fifth fleets are all stronger. Dan Allers, five combat strength. Alliance News Network reporter Dana Alice has been broadcasting from the Normandy interviewing Cuba members and high ranking Alliance officers to give the galaxy an insider's view of the war. Uh, here's the Normandy SR2. And uh, you see to bolster the Normandy's fighter power, the commander at Shepard installed a Thanix magnetic hydrodynamic cannon on the ship's undercarriage. Based on Reaper technology, the powerful weapon fires multiple, molten metal accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light. So, yeah. Uh, the upgrades you need to survive the suicide mission end up as combat strength on the Normandy itself. It's cool. Uh, then for hunting down a bunch of uh, materials in ME2, you get the mineral resources. I do don't know actually how high that can cap. Let me check that real quick. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, wait, shouldn't Dr. Chakwas be on here? It says she's supposed to be on here. Or is she not? Because I haven't talked to her yet. That might be it. Mineral resources. Okay, so it can be... 10, 25, or 100. Dang. Due to a bug, if the imported minerals are excessively high as possible, only 10 will be given instead of 100. Okay, so 75,000 to 100,000 are required for full points. And only resources collected pre-suicide mission count. 
Okay. Okay, that's... So I, so this could have been a hundred, but oh well. And then, her sincerity touch actually the viewers and donations for War Relief efforts are pouring in, both to the Alliance and ally, Alien Allies. Okay, so yeah. I, uh, that's good to know. Yeah, probably. I'd still think that it would be the wrong play, like I said earlier. I think they should be uh, concentrating forces on hammering where the Reapers are focused. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, <laughs> I don't think I ever actually did that. Did I? I might have done it once. But yeah. After years of them having their heads up their butts, uh, I wouldn't expect them to be ready. Yep, I will be doing that. Absolutely. Now, I did pick up some mods. So this is just 15% damage. This is five damage and uh, speed perception. And I don't have any mods for you or you. And here, I'm just gonna purchase a bunch of, uh, no, stop that. Upgrade that. No, I want an upgrade to the Avenger. Cause that's pr my primary and secondary guns. So yeah, that seems all right. Amanda gel upgrades, shotgun, pistol, sniper rifle, mods, spectra acquisitions, yeah. Gonna need a lot more cash, but I figured, uh, fixing up my, uh, Weaponry was the most important thing. Although I might regret that, because this is insanity difficulty. Why was there a model Corian just laying there? Hey there. Hello, Robotic Pupper. There's James. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yeah. Yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> I did just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. <sighs> Not sure what there is to talk about. <sighs> you already know my service record. <sighs> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. 
Well... <sighs> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Yes, I can, Lieutenant. You pulling rank on me, boss? We're just soldiers down here, no? Sure. But this soldier will clean the floor with you if you step out of line. Ha! You sound like my old CEO. Ha! Ha! Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <laughs> nice. What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. <laughs> and the colony? It was either them... <clears throat> ...or the intel we had on the collectors. <clears throat> Intel we could have used to destroy him. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame your son, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You a shrink too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <laughs> Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay? Your ship, your rules. Your loss. Commander. Ay, ay. I don't much care for Vega. He's like Shepard is absolutely correct. He's not bad, he's just stupid. And him making a judgment call like he did on Mars was absolutely not the right thing to do. Welcome back to the Normandy, or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about them, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back. I'm sorry for that. Also, the thing about Vega is that he tries to get way too familiar with the Commander way too fast. It's, it's like, the nickname right off the bat is like, boy. She's your commanding officer. Stop it. It's like, I guess they'd known each other for a couple of months on Earth when she was in detention, but like, no, no. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Oh. Now, apparently, the Dr. Jack was command or strength is only available if you tell her to stay on the Citadel on that uh, research lab. 
I see. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Is the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. How oh, very Cerberus. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Well, it's good to have Adams back. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. I look forward to it. That should be everything on the engineering crew. And no one here. No one in there. No one there. One in here. No, there is smoke there for some reason. information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Thank you, Glyph. I will use this for armor capaci ammo capacity. Ammo capacity. 
you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt... Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. It's been years since we were together. Are you still interested in... us? I didn't forget you, Liara. I want to make us work. Good. I was getting worried. There are a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Oh, I am very much looking forward to that, Liara. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence. This is the uh, stuff forces. that Liara was doing. Has granted you access. Yeah, during. This is when she meets Shepard. This is right after the Shadow Broker DLC. Please enjoy your day. Now I should visit Dr. Shack was. Since apparently I messed up by inviting her on the ship, but I don't care. I like Jack Come was. On, Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Yes, a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. <laughs> I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few weeks. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. Excellent. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. <laughs> I love this woman. What's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. You never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. I mean, I don't see why... Having a, the good doctor on board isn't combat strength for our ship. Maybe it is. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Apparently not. Sadly. All right, special ops. This is a note on the service lab on Sanctum telling us to go do that. Time I'm reinstated as Spectre and allowed to conduct diplomatic authority. 
warning that the solar system is falling. The dog in the engineering bay. Uh, Alliance News Network Information Partners. Citadel. Where is the Quarren fleet? The latest intelligence shows that the Reapers are taking system after system at a feverish pace. Members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies, and in some cases their home worlds. This kind of forced exodus might seem especially familiar to the nomadic Quarrens, who were pushed off their home world by the synthetic Gath centuries ago. But as the galaxy pushes back against the Reapers, the Quarrens are conspicuously absent. Turian and Alliance spokespeople cannot provide the fleet's current location. They say they have other concerns at the moment. What are the Quarrens are up to? They want it kept secret from the Council. After a refueling stop at Ilium, the fleet left no stated destination. There are also reports of a galaxy-wide call for all young adult Quarrens abandoning their pilgrimage to rejoin the fleet. Greedy and short-sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in times of galactic crisis. We can only hope that whatever the Quarrens are planning does not interfere with the only thing that should matter, stopping the Reapers. See, the thing here is... I don't like the tone of suspicion this article casts on the Quarians, but at the same time, I'd be lying if I said they weren't acting a little suspicious. Like, they have a huge fleet with a lot of resources that could go towards the war with the Reapers, and instead they're focusing on the Geth. Yeah, as per the intelligence we saw in the... Uh, Spectre room, so. I'd rather the article be calling for unity, but at the same time, I can't say they're exactly wrong to be taking this tone either, as much as I don't like it. He gets us a hoodie. Upgrade, which I already took care of, and the Edom Prime DLC. Which I will be doing right after I take care of the Cerberus stuff. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. <laughs> in any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy. But imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. I do end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure... I'll grow to love frontline service as well. You don't have to force yourself, kiddo. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. A lot of people still died, so she's not entirely wrong to have worried about that. Conquered systems. Clustered already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using Normandy Stealth Drive. Sure, these clustered for survivors, salvage, they'll be able to tell.
Search and Rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intels, and fuel as you fire around the system. Be aware, however, that each time you pulse, the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you've completed a mission before returning. I found something. There you are. Lost and found. Javelin missile launchers. War asset acquired. Two hundred fuels a unit. I was already full on fuel. Don't mind if I do. And more fuel. Tactical cloak, reduce charge speed, absolutely. Ara shoot. Probably going to warp ammo, actually. I would love to have squad wide warp ammo. Increase health and armor damage bonus by 10%. Not enemies. An intermittent explosion that covers 2.5 minutes for 100 damage. That is hard. Let's get some more crowd control. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how services connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Credits. Finally here. Wow, the troops are really here, really intense. No one smiles ever. And suicide on capture orders? Seriously? Call training interrogation. Let's start being interrogated tomorrow. Can't wait. Ammo there. Let me 
down, damn you! Got caught on the ledge, almost killed me with a grenade. Speaking of grenades... Careful the shields, careful the grenades. Oh, that's just James. Very good, very good indeed. I missed. Metagel experiment it will only lead to Metagel advances for Hanar. Only Cerberus would call that a failure. I don't remember ever getting that before.
Oops, I was not reloaded. Grenade. It's always the grenades.
What are you doing up there, sir? I didn't see the grenade again. rolled and uh, was not behind cover it was in front of cover because I'm stupid Vega again. Can't see it through the smoke. those credits.
Okay, good. And save the Hanar Metagel. Where did you come from? Huh? He just ran me down like a dog. Hi again! Not more credits, don't mind if I do. Or my next one, because apparently they can't stop dropping grenades. Great grenade. The grenades everywhere. Sanity mode, don't joke around. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. Cerberus doing with it. We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. Ten thousand credits in Alliance funding. Don't mind if I do. And now I will be heading to uh, Eden Prime. You see the Citadel when we were there on leave? She'd never know there was a war on. Still in soon enough. All those rifts just have to go somewhere. And no messages. And off to Eden Prime. James, of course, because I don't have any other option. But soon I will be benching James forever. Yay! Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren in the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here... Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? 
A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports said Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Not on my watch. Damn straight. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. I wouldn't hold my breath on that one, Diara. sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. You grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move to another. But you'd still remember. Yeah. Still carry something. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara. You ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Good old Liara. Processing update, we've taken more able-bodied men and women from past five neighborhoods. Colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a service research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increase food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. <laughs> Maintain the story for as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. If these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they cooperate. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Yeah, here's hoping. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turn the Protheans into? No, an original, unmodified Prothean, who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. 
I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Heads up! Yeah. Can't believe I missed that. Cerberus Nemesis Codex unlocked. fast those things are. Alright, let's get moving before more of them come back. Let's try and find all three pieces of uh, the intel here for the resistance. Troop deploying update. Local resistance heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist our remaining troops in the north neighborhood. Continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. Locals knew we were understaffed. They could do some serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Yeah. that third piece of intel I don't remember Shot Liara. Ah, there you are. This is an information update. We've gotten word from our Source within the Eden Prime's resistant moon that we can expect intact on our security center between 
2200 and 2300 tomorrow night. They pull from alien forces from across the colony. This gives us the persons to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Kamiata to escape. Running near Miss Shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information on what the, lux, the local will see him as a daring hero. The only man to escape the service trap. They might even put him in charge. Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. Where's the last guy? Oh, hi. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. That was spooky. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Alert! Broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Well, time to keep going and uh, more Cerberus. Hopefully not getting blown up by too many more grenades. Down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. Yeah, oh, hi. Oh, he's dead.
found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Excellent work, friends. More credits. Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life forms. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Understood that one too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Backup forces are here. Remember that. Huh? Dang, they are going deep. And I saw it. Oh, hi!
and I'm out of ammo. They are. They don't only have. I'm dumb. I am extraordinarily stupid. Completely forgot that I, uh... They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. Have hacking? The exact situation. All right. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Lots of bogeys inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. Oh, so my power goes right through them, huh? Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Building next door, you say? Heavy mech, don't let it get close! Oh, that's James.
And I clear that of ammo. Great googly moogly. Completely dry. some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pawns online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, not to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Correct, Admiral, but he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way.
What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Normally I'd say that's a bit extreme, but uh, considering... The purpose is the destruction of the Reapers. I think I can agree with this, yes. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? I do not believe you, Commander. Lying is a biological marker. There is doubt behind your words. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? 
Never mind. What do you wish to know? What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusama. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. A studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you 
saying you enslaved the other species? Many could have fought us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have moved. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago. In ways we could never imagine. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. Beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation, the DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Though I still need time to recover, the shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. Well, particle rifle unlocked. And uh, Vega's replacement. Let's see what uh, Diane has to say. <laughs> you know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Oh well, anyway, uh, this episode has gone on quite long enough. Next episode, I think we will be either heading to Palafin or going around and collecting more war assets from the different uh, uh, solar systems with scanning. Uh, so until then, remember like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and if you're kind, get off my lawn, you feel the casuals.